Hello, this is Rebecca here with Create with Rebecca. And today I am back with a video on decorating the outside of these uh, traveler notebooks. These actually are a smaller traveler's notebook, but I ordered um, them from Yellow Paper House. These are a different size. This is actually um, one that I ordered for my sister, but my sister's pretty simple, and so I don't want to. I might put a. Um, like an inspirational um, quote on the outside here but basically both of these are the same these are just in a smaller size but um, these are actually calendars broken up into your months so you have your month here of April and then you have your weekly um, layouts here and so uh, I have recently gave my sister a traveler's notebook and I said, I want to order you a calendar, and so I went to Yellow Paper House, they have a great selection, and I ordered her a um, two calendars for April, May, June, July, August, September. So I'm going to see how she likes these, and then I would order her either um, another set for the rest of the year. But I also had a friend ask if I had a uh, pocket size or purse size planner that I recommended or that I made. and. So again, I went to the Yellow Paper House and she wanted lilac and so I ordered her these. Now what I did on um, these two particular uh, calendars is I covered them with heavy cardstock that I had. And um, I'm going to do one with a blue and one with a, with a, a lilac purple color as well. So I just kind of wanted to show you a really quick and easy way to take a plain traveler's notebook and personalize it. Now, um, I'm also going to show you, I'm putting together a kit for her, and she's a crafty friend of mine, so I love sending little fun happy mail um, to anybody that wants to create. I'm, I'm with you. So, um, she also has, have, has had a little wiener dog, and this is part of the uh, Carp Diem Snap uh, set, and so I was going to decorate both of these with these particular cart. Um, little note cards or journal cards. I guess these also came where they fit inside the snap scrapbook set. Um, I don't know I'm, I don't know if there's a plastic inserts um, or not but these um, basically I wanted to kind of have them coordinate but a little bit differently. So if you'll bear with me I'm going to just show you real quick on how I I'm planning on personalizing these. So what I did was I basically glued these down so they're set, but I want to kind of uh, complete the edges um, for these. And so I'm just going to take this washi. This is washi I actually got from Michaels, and it came in a roll. And I'm actually, if I ever get back into town, which I mean by town is Austin because I live on the outskirts where we don't have um, a Michaels. I'm going to get me another roll of this. I really like the quality of this washi tape and I'm getting I like the thin but I also like this really thicker washi for doing um, bigger jobs or like for instance for this one it's it's great for the edging so I know they have several different rolls now I know it's like 19 I think they were like 1995 or it was almost twenty dollars but you got several rolls in there and I know you can also use your coupon so that's kind of helpful as well so I'm just gonna go in here and trim some of the washi that is overlapping and get that off of there now if you were curious about the glue I used to do the covers is I use this extreme Elmer's glue this is good stuff it's real thick I mean, it, it puts down, I mean, excuse me, it's really thick. It doesn't go on like really thick. It goes on like regular glue, but it, it holds thicker paper, you know, so it's, I guess it's an extreme. It's not, it dries really good, and then it also, oops, this one has a bubble in it, but it, um, it holds, and I've had some really good luck with it, so um, I do recommend this. This is one I use in a lot of my projects. So with this one, um, I'm going to just kind of do a, I thought about doing like a purple, but truth be told, I'm not a big purple fan. I know. I love pink. Pink is my signature color, but I don't know. I think it's because I don't 
buy a lot of purple things and it's not just hasn't been one of my colors and you can see it in some of my crafting because I'm not I don't have that many purple washi tapes and so I went ahead and just opted for a pink again I wanted to kind of keep it in I was looking at this the colors in this little dog's flowers on its head so I thought that would go pretty well this this washi tape was also in that same uh, Michael's kit that I purchased so I really like I said I highly recommend it I don't know if you have a Michael's where you're at but um, it's good washi it's good quality washi and that means a lot because I know that sometimes I buy something that's <clears throat> not always the best it doesn't always stick or it's got a weird texture to it or something like that so again I'm just trimming off these edges here and then we'll be ready and this design I'm going to do on here is going to be fairly easy simple but just adds a little bit of um, prettiness to the to these craft craft covers okay so I have both of these and then I'm going to actually I love these little clips here because they're good for holding down now I want to make sure I do these right sides so I'm just going to put these little clips on here like that and make sure they're right side up so I don't do any upside down business stuff on here so I think I'm just going to kind of lay these out and kind of do a guesswork on which looks better on which one I think that one Let's switch it around again and see yeah I think this would look better okay so now I wanted to kind of I, didn't, I wanted to kind of add something. The reason I put these flowers on the background because I know that they're pretty uh, different and I wanted them to kind of still match like they were a set. So that's why I went with this particular background for that. So let's go ahead and start with this one first. And I'm going to come in here with my glue. I always get like an extra sheet of paper here so when I'm gluing stuff down. That way I can go completely on the edges and not get my surface yucky with glue. So I kind of go around the edges here and then I'm going to put this on like that. The good thing about this paper that's in the background, I can actually see where I line it up and make it pretty straight. So then I'm going to add the today, but I think I'm going to actually punch this out. So I'm going to turn this down and see if I can fit it into my punch. Yeah, perfect. So I'm going to punch that. Kind of like that. A little offset. Now for this, I'm going to use my sticker maker machine. This is another tool that I highly recommend. I use this all the time in my journaling and in my scrapbooking and planning because it just it makes it quick and easy and you don't have to worry about getting sticky with the glue and it's actually really really good um, sticker paper that makes it stick really well okay now I think I'm gonna come in here and just kind of finish it off with some washi and I might actually look for her initial I don't know I'm kind of iffy about that one but I'm going to see if I have some in this particular bin. If not, I have another bin that I could use. I'm almost thinking um, either green or black may do be the trick here. I'll show you my really well organized um, space here. Yeah, this is my washi organization. It's dig around until you can find something, but I don't, I don't mind. This is good. So, let's see if this green, how this is going to look. Doesn't really match that lime green that's on there. Ooh, I got this one recently too. I like this. Let's, let's go with that one. This says hello on there. So that's kind of neat to be like, hello today. I think that would work for sure. Let's just grab a couple more of these just in case they d it doesn't. And I'll have some selection with me without pulling my big 
my big um, bin out here. Okay. Here we go. So, let's see here. Let's see how this is going to look. Oh, I like it already. Okay. You know what I might do? I kind of learned this from my other one. Is I only went halfway around with it. With the washi on this other side. And it kept getting pulled up here. So I think if I go all the way around, this will, this will keep it from coming up on this edge here. Okay. I might actually kind of just tuck it in there. I'm okay with that. I'm sure she'll be okay with that too. I'd rather have it come around the edging than for it to just keep popping off like that. Looks cute already. And actually, I mean, that's the simplicity of it. You can do as much as more or less. And I'm actually thinking less on this. Oh, you know what it would have been that would have been really cute i mean that looks cute okay let's i'm gonna put this one aside because i might add this i might not it may be too much but let me move on to this one and then we can see so as you can tell this one is going to be too big so i'm going to take it and cut it down a little bit and i'm going to use these dots as a guide for to keep it fairly straight here oh i love that little dog with the flowers that is so cute okay so, where's my paper? Here we go. Okay. I know these little size cards don't fit. I know they make another sticker machine that's a fairly bigger, and I might actually invest in it later on, but that I could stick this in and slide it through. But for now, that glue stick does the trick. Okay, so I'm gonna bring it back over. I'm gonna line it up here like that. Make sure all the edging is down. I'm going to come in here with some washi too and add it. I don't know why I'm drawn. This was part of that, that pack I got as well that from Michaels. I just love it. It's so cute. But I think I'm going to come in here with this hearts. And this is actually, you peel it off because it's almost kind of like a see-through um, washi. But I... I've been using this a lot lately, and I'm really liking it. It's kind of a pain, because um, I'll, I'll show you why. Let me just come around here with it. I think that's about it. I'm going to trim it off here and see what I mean by it's a pain. It comes unraveled. But what I found the trick is, is not that it gets stuck on your scissors. I'll come back to it. Let me finish this off real quick. I'm going to lay that down like that. And this is actually pretty good washi too, I discovered. It's it's fairly, it holds really good. I actually think I got it from, um, I might have got it from Hobby Lobby. Okay, so here's, let me show you the trick on here. Can I'll come back and cut this. So when you have that washi, what I discovered is, I go ahead and tighten it around, because it comes unraveled because it doesn't stick to itself because it has that other paper on it. But I cut... I cut some of the paper off to where it's it's got some of the seat um, some of the washi there and then I just kind of lay it down like that and then it, it holds itself so that works out good but I'm gonna come around with this one or two again I know she probably won't mind that but I just I feel like it secures it more and it won't come up later on okay so on this one I think I figure, let me go ahead and pin it down here. I figure with the the space up here, I could put her name or um, write out planet or, um, let me think here for a second. Let's go ahead and add some more washi while I'm thinking about it, maybe. Um, should we do another little heart down here? Possibly, maybe some red hearts, or maybe something up here, like a thinner one. Maybe that's what we'll do. What color do we have over here? Maybe some turquoisey blue. Um, let's 
Let's see, or some yellow, maybe some yellow would look good. Let's see what we got here. We got um, chevron yellow. Oh, this is cute already, I like it. I don't think I'm gonna put it all the way over. I think I'm just gonna add a little strip here. That worries me again. If it's not good sticky washy, I don't want it coming up on her because that'd be a pain. But we'll just do this. Um, let's see here. Okay. So, let's see what we got over here. If we have anything that we can um, add or just write in. I think I'm going to write in her name. I think that's what we'll do. Okay, so when I go to write in her name, um, I'm going to come in here with a pencil and I'm going to do cursive. So I'm going to come in and then just kind of um, do black. I actually might be. Um, let's check out the point on the Sharpie. See how good it is. Oh, it's a good one. Okay. Yes, I fear like me. Tons of pens. Sometimes you don't want to get rid of the ones that they still are good. And then I'm just going to write out her name here. And then what I usually do is I come in here I took a class last December, and what they taught us to make it really kind of more of the handwriting is just on your downstrokes, come in and fill it in. So I'm just going to do that really quick here. Well, maybe. Maybe. Do fill it in here. Hope I don't mess this up, and then I can't not liking it, which I have a tendency sometimes to do. But if I do that, I can always just come in here and do something else with it. It's kind of kind of stiff looking, but let me come in here. And we're going to use a gel pen and I'm going to do something. We'll see. Okay. So, um I'm gonna, since it's really black, and there's not a whole lot of black on here, I'm just gonna come in here and circle some of these polka dots here. Improvise with what I have and see if I can um, be happy with it because after I did the lettering, I was like, eh. But it's a done deal, you know? Sometimes it's hard to do it when you're on film too because you're like wanting to, you don't plan it out too much and then if you mess up you're like, oh no, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay, so we have those little polka dots on here. Let's get some gel pens, shall we? And see what we can do with those. Um, now with the gel pens, sometimes I have to get them to dry. If I can find any of mine that I have here handy, I think I some pink, a red one, a pink one, another pink. Ooh, here's a little sparkly gold one. Let's use that one. Sparkly um, red one. So I'm going to come in here. You know what would be good is blue too. Maybe I could come in here and do blue with this. Here we go. Trick. See if it's going to work. You know what we could do is do some blue and some some um, pink and then I'm going to kind of come in here and do a little little bitty tips on the end of um, her name here so it doesn't maybe that makes it a little bit more prettier like I said she's not picky I know but I am um, 
I don't want her to be like, she wouldn't have done that. Okay, that one's not as sparkly as I thought it was. Now that one sparkles. Let's do this one. This is a glaze pen. So I'm going to come in here and fill some of these in. Now the thing with these I noticed is you have to let them dry. So, um, so that way they don't smear. So you just have to keep an eye out for that. And you know, we could come in here and do like a inside here. Add some some little dots to the side of her name. And that way it makes it more not so big and black and out of place looking. Right? Okay. What you think? Good? I think I'm going to come back in. I wish I had my blue sparkly pen, but I know I was using it earlier in the week, which means it could be anywhere. I don't think it's in here. It's just, if you don't mind, I'm going to dip it here real quick. I don't see it. I was using it for raindrops, and so it's probably in my bag, my other bag. I'll just come in here and do more of these, fill these in more, so they make them more standout-ish. Okay. Super cute, super cute. Okay, so let's take this one next to it. And I think that dog, now that I look at it, it's too much, right? It'd be too much dog, too many dogs. Even though that would match it, I think it's just too much. Okay, so I'm gonna come in here and think, think, think. You know what we could do is to add, you're like, don't touch it, don't touch it, it looks good. But I have to touch it, let's see. I might come in here and just kind of do some. Let's see if these show up. I don't even think these will, this glaze will show up on here. Is this the one I was using? It didn't feel like it. Uh, maybe it was this one. I may just come in here and fill some of these circles in with this, this glaze. So. It will make it more matchy match, but not totally matchy match. And then I might come in here with the blue. Oh, that looks cute. I think she's going to love it. In fact, I know she's going to love it. Okay, so I'm going to let this dry for a little bit. And... I'm going to show you real quick what I'm going to pack with it in her little um, happy happy bag. Okay, so we're going to set those aside for a minute. Let those dry. And then I'm going to show you exactly what I'm going to put in her bag. So, in her little stationary bag, I'm going to add, I'm going to put a pen. Um, this is just a little mini pen. I'm going to add some little... Um, paper clips and some clothes and little mini clothes pin a large clothes pin a little bitty um, binder clip that has a duck on the end oh, that's so cute some little sparkly goodies little confetti goodies I'm gonna add some little project life cards some stickers little sticker um, labels a library card I'm gonna add two note cards in there Another little clip, little stationary, I mean paper clip with a ribbon. Some little note cards. I'm going to add a polka dot sticker. A little dog kind of goes with the whole journaling. I'm going to add some of my personal stickers that I have in here. Um, I'll show you real quick. Well, I already sealed them up. Um, this is kind of a sneak peek, I guess. Uh, let me show you what I have in here. And this is actually going into a kit that I'm putting together for um, for a summer kit. I just messed up the labeling, but we can do that. So I have I'm Crabby. 
I have the cupcake girls. I have these cute little whales. Bubbles. Mermaids. And cats. And so I've been working on stickers. And so I'm going to send those to her. We're going to repackage that up because I just ripped that um, one label on there. So I'm going to put it back into a different packaging. And that way I don't give her a ripped one. Because who doesn't love stickers, right? And so then I have this cello bag that's a fairly large bag here. And I'm going to put everything in here. So, and that's just how I do it. It's just kind of put it in here like this. And I'll probably include a little note too. There's the stickers. With these, I'm going to paper clip them to close pin, not close pin, paper clip them together, and then that way that clip kind of sticks up too, so you can view it. Put these in here like that. The close pin. Put the writing pin over here. Put the little duck clip. This duck clip is so adorable. Then let's see if this these are dry. They make me nervous to touch them. Okay, so that is dry. Let's see if this one's dry. I don't know if you can tell, but see they're kind of like almost a dry, real. They're almost like little dots of um, sparkles. So they look like they're dry. And I'm going to put this on top of here. Add it to here, and there you have it. There's her little care package, her little stationery kit, all ready to go. I'll just take that little tag off, and probably we'll seal it up with a piece of washi, like that. And there it is. All cute. Now, who wouldn't, what well, stationary addict wouldn't love to receive a package like that? All right, well, I appreciate you sticking around and watching me decorate these fun little uh, notebook covers for my friend, and I will see you in my next video.